the next fly that we're going to tie is a uh, is a buzzer emerger, uh, and I'll tie it on this uh, this hook. You can tie it down to whatever size uh, you'd like. I'm going to tie this one on a 12, so it's a bit easier for you to see. Situations to use this fly in, Pete? Uh, I like to use this fly when the fish uh, are being a little bit finicky uh, and mainly early morning stuff when there's quite a few buzzers about. It's something I like to tie it in a little bit smaller than this, of course, in about a 16, and it doesn't give the fish quite as much to look at. It's got just this little bit of sparkle in this uh, holographic tinsel. I think it's just enough to uh, get them to have a, a quick look. To just fish that are mopping up from whatever's left over from the night. Before. Yeah, yeah, or like the buzzers will still be hatching out like in the morning. Uh, whilst they're, and they'll be still rising, that's why the fish will still be on top. Uh, yeah, and they'll hopefully be coming up a line somewhere and you can put uh, it, you put this in front of them when uh, probably not if trying other things the later it gets in the morning I think the less this will work so it's probably right on that morning uh, break so to speak And what we're going to tie in now is a little bit of possum and we'll make that the over wing and uh, also the post. Try that, that shouldn't be too bad. In that early morning stuff too, it's a good idea to have a little bit bigger sighter so you can make sure the fish have taken yours. There's nothing worse than thinking they're taking yours and you lift the rod and it's on the one beside it. Now we're going to put on a piece of, uh, not a great deal, but just a little bit of claret seals fur, just in the thorax. Pull our possum over. Make sure we're happy with where that's sitting. Which looks pretty good. Could be pulled down a bit tighter, but that's not too bad. It'll help it float. Now I'm going to tie in a uh, a bit of ginger hackle, so I'm going to turn around and put a parachute on this just to suspend it a little bit more in the water. I'll cut off that little bit of excess there before we go any further.
And now I'm going to go around the possum and the hackle at the same time. And I'm going to wind it up the post to give it a little bit of a bed for the actual hackle to sit on. Now depending on where you want this to sit in the water, you can wind this a long way up if you want it to sit right down, like even a little bit lower in the water. And I'll leave him at that. Now I'll wind the hackle down. Right now we'll get rid of that hackle, finish tying him off. Try not to cover up that eye. There's a few little barbs there we'll trim off. And then we'll just tidy him up. Because these ones over the uh, oh they're hooked, they can just be a pain when you put the line through. And we're gonna tease out a little bit of the claret dubbing to just make it look a little bit leggy. Bit of glue on that. Now, when you glue this, you can uh, bend or fold this to where you want it to sit in the water. If I want it to hang directly down, I'll pull it that way and I'll glue it in that position. If I want it to sit back a little bit further, I'll glue it in that position and it will actually change the hang of the fly. So, it's a good idea to put it in the vise where you want it to hang and then pull it up straight so it's vertical and put your glue on and that post will go pretty solid. She's got no need for pretension. She keeps everything.